Hey folks, it's Jared Mannanen from the website TahoeTrailGuide.com. I totally realize this looks totally desperate, but believe it or not, this little patch of snow that I'm skiing on right now is super fun. It's literally 200 meters or so off the highway, which is why you can hear a whole lot of road noise. But it's this firm little patch of snow that for the last few days I've been filming at for another video. There's a storm coming tonight, so I probably won't even bother skiing here anymore this season. But because it's so close and so firm and so fun, I thought, what the heck, I'll go do a few more drills today and uh, yeah, hopefully inspire you guys to go find your own little patch of snow out in the middle of nowhere or right off the highway. There's definitely nothing glamorous about the skiing that I'm doing right now, but there's just stuff that requires you to be on a small flat area. And today I'm working on getting my hockey stops down, starting and stopping with a quickness. I'm also constantly working on keeping my legs aligned so that my knees aren't collapsing in. I don't need the deepest backcountry location in order to accomplish this. <laughs> My tripod as a selfie stick. <laughs> Well, we do what we can with what we have. And currently I have a few dozen meters of mostly flat snow. So, one of the reasons that I'm trying to get better at a hockey stop, other than the fact that it looks really cool, especially on cross country skis, is that it, to some degree, mimics the angulation of a downhill turn. And I don't come from an alpine skiing background um yeah like i've always said my winter sport growing up was wrestling and then when i moved to tahoe many years ago for the first few winters i lived here i snowboarded and not a whole lot of uh correspondence other than the fact that you're sliding over snow on a snowboard with regard to cross-country skiing so i'm just trying to learn that angulation letting my upper body kind of face down the fall line. And those hockey stops help me get better at doing that, or at least it brings attention to it. I don't know if they're a great replacement for just learning proper downhill turning, but I'm on a flat surface, so I have to get some training in somehow.
I can feel the storm coming in. Well, one of the things that I have learned that isn't specific to skiing, but to having any adventure or experience is that it's very seldom going to be a perfect scenario or perfect situation for your experience. And I've succumbed to that feeling of, well, snow's not that great. I don't even want to bother going out because it's not going to be that much fun. And it's a dangerous habit to get into because you just end up wasting a lot of time, a lot of your life waiting for that right moment to, to hit for you to do that thing. And then the funny part about that is that if most days aren't perfect, yeah, that's the only days we want to ski. Those skis that we, those days that we will ski on those quote unquote perfect snow days, we may or may not be ready. We may or may not be in good enough shape. Our technique might be sloppy because it's been many days in between ski sessions or biking, running, swimming, whatever it is that you're talking about. So particularly in these last few years as I get older and start to really understand that I am getting older and that life is finite for all of us, uh, you know, I just take it when I can get it. And I don't try to be selfish about it. I'll be out here for an hour, hour and a half today, and that's good enough, you know, for what the conditions are. I couldn't imagine being out here skiing for like six hours on this one little stretch of land, but for an hour or two, it's just fine. And as I'm talking, now I'm up to two and a half miles. So I'm getting a workout in, honing my skills, and Man, I'm being outside. He couldn't really ask for much more than that. So in my book, that's perfect. It's perfect enough. Whew. All right, 5K, believe it or not. Well, if you know me, you know that I always either quote or reference movies. So all I can say today is be rocky at the meatpacking warehouse. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Post any comments or feedback in the comment section below subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then check out TahoeTrailGuide.com. Take care, everyone.